Hey, good afternoon or good evening. This is Captech here bringing you another video on getting back to basics where I basically make a simple video and I try to explain it as simple as possible, which has to do with the operating system, Windows 7 or Windows 10, or I talk about an application or software or something that you could use on your computer. So I'm going to go over power options and control panel. This video shouldn't be that long. So I'm going to go to control panel first. I'm going to go to power options. And uh, basically, this is oh, why I'm going over this is because if someone has a laptop and they want to change their power settings, you go into power options. So I don't know if you're I don't know if you're one of those people that get really frustrated. You close your laptop lid, and then you open it again, and then for some reason your computer is sleeping or your computer shuts off for some reason. You have to go to power options. You have to change your settings. So if you go to power options and you tell your computer to when you shut the lid, it stays on basically and then you flip it back up it'll stay on so you have to you have to tell your your computer to do that so in power options it basically does that why that's important for me is because i used to work for a hedge fund but we both we will provide uh hp dell and lenovo laptops and basically um everyone would have a laptop and they'll have a docking station and then when they put it on the docking station and they close the lid the computer would just shut off and, and uh, there's a lot involved in that. It's not just, you know, an operating system. You you have to deal with the BIOS as well. And you have to deal with the firmware on the computer as well. There's a couple of things involved in it. But besides the point, but basically what I'm trying to say is that you you make sure your, 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 your options, your power options is set to not shut off when you close your lid on your laptop. And then here you could do whatever. You could tell it what to do. You could turn off the display, never put the computer to sleep, never... Um, change advanced settings here if you would like tell it what to do and um that that's about it for power options and if, if I, I could show you an example of what i'm talking about for a laptop so if you do power options laptop i just i googled it before um here you'll see that it has two of them instead of one so when you plug it in or when you when you're on battery you want to set it so it doesn't turn off on display you set it to never and that basically allows the laptop to stay on even if you close the lid. So that's really important for people that are in an office environment or people that are trying to get work done on their laptop and they just, you don't want it to randomly shut off on you. And that's basically what, how to fix that problem. Um, as well, we have uh, choose what the power button does. You could control it. You could tell it to shut down, sleep, hibernate. You enable the settings here. You could put shut down settings as well. And um, that's pretty much everything for power options. And I'm gonna go device manager. Device manager, I'm actually gonna go in depth with device manager because a lot of people have a, a whole bunch of issues with device manager. So I do have to go over it somewhat in depth, not a lot, but somewhat in depth. So here you have your audio, you have your computer, this drive display. So for someone that works in IT help desk, desktop support, technical support, IT, you put in a graphics card you have one monitor that pops up and then you have four monitors you hooked up and for some reason it just shows up in one monitor. Make sure you download the latest drivers on that computer. Make sure the graphics card, the drivers of the graphics card is enabled and make sure that you download the drivers for it. Otherwise, you're not going to get any displays on any of your monitors. So here you can see that mine is a 1080 GTX 1080, mine is a 1080 Ti, 8 gigs of RAM. I love, I love my graphics card. Um, it's, a, it's a really reliable card. And if you go to properties, it tells you about your drivers, you can roll them back. So like, if you ever have an issue with a graphics card or a display on your computer, on your laptop, make sure you roll it back. Usually rolling back fixes that problem. Maybe an up, maybe you had an up a recent update on your graphics card, on your computer, on your laptop, and, and it just didn't plan out as you, as you wanted it to, and it's not working properly. You could roll back your drivers. Um, here it gives you the details about it, some advanced resources general usually it would say the device is working properly or the device is working properly or it would say uh the device hasn't downloaded the device did not download successfully because it couldn't grab the drivers for it um it would say something like that this this driver has been successfully installed the computer needs to restart to finish updating or installing it would say stuff like that um if you have your, if you have issues with with your keyboard or mouse uh you will go into keyboard right click uninstall it Plug in the keyboard again, and it should it should download the, the keyboard again. Mouse, same thing. Plug in and unplug and plug it in. It downloads the drivers, and it, it tells you like you know, it tells you that the driver has has installed successfully, and that's basically what what that is. Um, other stuff you might wanna 
you might want to look at is your network network drivers um i could go over this in depth it's basically networking 101 but there's a lot of stuff involved like like i can talk about um i can talk about 801.11 acb g n and all this crazy stuff but I, i'll make another video for that for another day because it's it's like uh, i have to go in depth with that that's a lot networking is a lot of stuff so i'll go over that some other day um here you have your ports your printer so if you you see how a Lexmark printer, you can uninstall it and reinstall it here. Just like in Device Manager, um, you have your software. You have your, uh, I guess, your sound settings. So if you ever come across an issue where you have a headset or a headphone that's not working, you hear no sound from it, usually right-clicking on it, uninstall and reinstall it, it fixes that problem. The second thing that will fix it is if you right-click on your, or if you want to do it the easy way, just type sound and basically set it as the default communication or sound. And then if, if your mic's not working, you wanna go into recordings and make sure you set it as a default. And you could do more stuff in it. So you go to properties and basically you, you could change the level of the of the headset or, or of the, of the um, headphones you have on. You go into enha enhancements as well and then the advanced settings as well. So usually I have communication set to nothing because this, I think, I find this to be a problem with people, so usually it causes a lot of problems, so I just set it to do nothing. Um, so drivers, is what I want to talk about drivers is, is um, say, Kevin, I installed a, a, a keyboard. Oh, no, no, let me, let me give you something more more, more challenging. Kevin, I installed, I, I just installed Windows 7 on this computer, and I can't find the, the goddamn drivers for this computer, and, and I'm trying to figure out, like, I see, like, it says the driver is missing, like PCE.E control drivers is missing. How the hell do I get the drivers for that? So if you want drivers for anything here, there's like a yellow. So usually there'll be a yellow triangle if you're missing a driver for something. The easiest way to do it, which is something I learned recently or something I, I, didn't, I didn't understand at the time, but now I understand it, is if you get the hardware ID of the, of the, of the driver. So if you right click on the driver or on the device that you, you need the drivers for, and you hit properties and you hit details and then you hit hardware ID. You have all this these numbers up and down. You get the first one, you hit copy, you go into Google, and then Google's reliable, Google's our reliable friend. Um, and you just type you just type that in or you paste it. It tells you what drivers it is and it tells you what drivers you need to get to download it. And then that's about it. And you know what you know what the driver is when you put that number in. It tells you what the driver is. And then you know how to get the drivers after that. You know where to go to get the drivers after that. So if you put this number in, the hardware ID, which is to consider the hard, hardware ID, that's how you would that's how you would figure it out. If you that's the easiest way to figure out something. If you don't know how, what the drivers are, you go into hardware ID, and you and you um copy and paste in Google and then that will help you out and figure out what it is and you'll be on your way after that so um, you'll right click here scan for hardware changes as well if you're if you have some yellow triangles you're missing stuff that doesn't work you go directly to the website to Dell HP aces Acer whatever and just download whatever you're missing um, other than that if you have anything like if you plug in like a keyboard like for people that work in finance or a Bloomberg keyboard you usually gotta wait like five to ten minutes for that thing to install. Time to go get a cup of coffee, come back, and then test the keyboard for them. It should be good. It should be good to go. Um, most of the stuff is plug and play, but if you need drivers, you need drivers. So you go to the website and download it. Um, with that being said, uh, I have nothing else to show you for this. For this, I guess for device manager, I have nothing else to show you. So, as always, I hope everyone has a great day. Rate, comment, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. Make that. Put that, put that, put that check mark to blue. I greatly appreciate it. And um, I hope everyone has a wonderful day and a great evening. And happy Tuesday. All right? Take care.